Having today, cats moving forward with plans to build a silver line despite ongoing concerns with the transportation agency. Tonight is holding a meeting about plans to build a rail trail along the silver line in East Charlotte, sort of like the one that goes down south end. Wake up Charlotte's Richard Vane now live for us this morning and Richard Cat struggling to manage itself, manage itself in the past few weeks, all sorts of troubles. But leaders say that should not stop what is a 13 billion dollar transit plan. Yeah, city leaders are saying this morning, Ben, good morning to you. Good Monday morning, everyone. Basically, city leaders are working between a rock and a hard place trying to convince the public that CATS is working through its problems and it's going to be safe. At the same time, they're still trying to convince lawmakers to give them support on that $13.5 billion transportation plan. Moving forward, despite concerns of what lies behind. This crisis is not helpful for our mass tra transit future. It's not what I wanted, but that doesn't mean I can turn a blind eye or soft pedal something that is very serious. So we have to do both. City leaders continue to support Charlotte's $13.5 billion transportation plan. The plan relies on a one cent sales tax referendum, which first requires approval of the Republican led General Assembly in Raleigh. State lawmakers have expressed doubts over the plan, which includes miles of rapid transit corridors like busing, a greenway system, a bicycle network, and light rail, including expanding the Silver Line. Just last week, CAT spoke of three derailments in the last year and a lack of inspections for more than a two-year period. Leaders now saying problems with CATs must be addressed. On one side of the coin, I have deep, deep concerns about how we got here. On the other side, I'm, I'm not that surprised because this has been a story a long time in the making. We had uh, a, a real big leadership issue in CATs that we're now just trying to recover from. Including the calls for an independent investigation. Now they're trying to convince those lawmakers, basically those lawmakers, uh, the House leader saying that he wants them to focus more on roads, improving roads for the transportation system, putting that in the front of the plan. Of course, there is a lot more steps to be made. We'll keep you posted every step of the way. We're right here in Uptown. Richard Vang for Wake Up Charlotte.